this one is a uh, more like a strange event rather than a strange encounter um, it, it's even going to be relatively short I may find another another uh, story to attach it to um, so I always went saying hunting you know it's one of the things I did um, so I'm out saying hunting one day and I ran up on this ridge where uh, more or less I would find a, a three prong or a four prong saying plant one two three four five of them and before I would be done digging them up you know I could already see more so it was leading me down or up this ridge whichever way the, you know the next plants had guided me and um, so more or less I'm kind of just digging and singing and digging and singing and digging and singing and it it led me out on this uh, above see there was these old creeks uh, that sometimes they would run and have water in them and a lot of times they just sit there all dry uh, and you could tell at some point in the past like it used to run really good because the rocks and everything were weathered like it ran it had water in it for thousands of years but now they're just dried up you know what I mean I don't know if that makes sense but this uh, this outcrop and this cliff of rocks um, was jetted out above this old dried up creek bed and I mean that creek had to carve those rocks you know that's how you could tell that that creek had ran for thousands of years because of how much it, it had cut into this this cliffside but I'm up on top man and I'm digging these roots man and <clears throat> I was all the way out on like the point uh, this little cliff let's just say it was shaped like a piece of pizza I was out on the tip of the piece of pizza man and there was a pretty decent sized tree that was kind of holding all of that edge together and um, so there was a saying plant out on the very tip of that piece of pizza and I had wrapped myself and swung around that big tree there was a little tree that was sticking up we call them uh, devil's walking sticks uh, because whatever trees these are they they grow so tall and then they have like this ring of thorns and then they grow so tall and they have like another ring of thorns and then they grow so tall and they have another ring of thorns so I had grabbed this tree it was only, it was a sapling you know maybe the size of a, a shovel handle and I went to use it to swing around the bigger tree and get a footing you know out on the tip of the cliff and when I did I didn't realize that that tree it was dead it was still standing but it was dead so when I swung out it just snapped out of the ground right in my hand and I remember looking at it and going oh you know bad word and I just fell straight off that cliff and that was about a 20 25 foot cliff and like I said it was a dried creek bottom so that that old the creek bottom was completely filled with you know slate bottom rock broken rocks just rocks everywhere there was no dirt no nothing and I'm falling and I gotta admit I don't remember much between looking at the dead tree in my hand and saying oh bad word I don't remember landing all I remember is looking up you know that, that was my next thought is now I'm looking up and I, I you know I, I I curl my neck and I look down and it's like I'm, I'm sitting in this uh, dentist chair you know how, how your back is straight and then your knees come up slightly and then they go down you know what I mean like a I don't know like a dentist chair so I, I curl my head and I look down my chest to my knees and I'm like huh you know and then I sit forward and when I do you know like nothing's hurting you know the uh, the tree that I had grabbed in my hand it was laying off to my right about five feet and I sit up 
and I turn around and I look and right in the middle of all these rocks in the middle of this dried up creek bed there was this super thick layer of moss that literally had grown right where I fell um, and it was about I don't know two and a half to four feet thick in its thickest areas but that moss caught me from where I fell um, and that's where I landed was straight in that moss uh, and it, it it like it grew up around my head around my neck everything it was like I almost fell into a uh, a styrofoam cutout of my body and it, it caught me because basically without that moss being there if I were to fall off that cliff into that creek you would not be hearing this story I would I would have probably been dead or paralyzed and where that was if I was paralyzed I'd be dead because nobody would have ever found me um, but yeah I fell off a 20-25 foot cliff into a rock bottom dried creek and was caught by two to four foot thick moss and a whole seat of two to four foot thick moss that literally had my body's impression uh, a good six inches to a foot into it um, yeah when I got up and I looked up and I looked at myself and I looked at where I fell and I looked back up and I looked at my like I'm checking myself all over I'm feeling my neck I'm feeling everything you know my ginseng bag had, had fallen ginseng everywhere my butter knife was laying next to it you know the the broken stick was it was just like it was so surreal and I, I I went over the scenario multiple times and um, so I went home you know I was totally freaked out I, I told my whole family about it you know and it was like <clears throat> of course they didn't believe me but I swore up and down dude and it was like I'd, I'd bring you know come with me come with me I'll show you what I'm talking about it really wasn't that far from the house maybe a mile you know and uh, so I took my my brother one of my brothers and my sister and we went to find this where I fell off the cliff and I, I found the cliff and and the tree and everything but the moss seat was gone I know how that sounds but that happened It is what it is. And, um, all I can say is thank you. Even though nobody else on this planet has any reason to believe me, um, I still say thank you to whatever or however that happened because it did happen <laughs>